My 24M wife 22F had an affair while I was away for work. We decided to move past it. Now she's pregnant, and we can't agree how to proceed. I guess I'm looking for advice just as much as a chance to vent. Sorry if this isn't the place for that. My wife and I have been married for two years, together for four. I work on a river barge, so I spend about a month away from home at a time for work followed by two weeks off. I've been doing this for the last year since I got laid off from my other job. I just got back from a job, and found out that my wife has been having an affair with an old boyfriend that recently came back to town. I asked her how many times, and I wish I didn't. She said she wasn't sure and that it had been a continual thing. They started talking on Facebook a few months ago, but it had only been innocent catching up until this last time I left. This time, they agreed to meet up, and had basically been sleeping together all month while I was away. She said that she had planned to end it when I got back, and knew she had to come clean. She let me look at her Facebook message inbox and text messages for proof, and the messages were consistent with her story and timeline. My initial reaction was that the marriage was over. I felt betrayed, hurt, and didn't think I'd ever be able to trust her again. I work my ass off so that she doesn't have to work while she's in school. I felt like being faithful was the least she could do for me. She knew what marriage meant to me long before we took our vows. Both of us are Catholics. We aren't perfect Catholics by a long shot, but we're deeply religious. I stressed to her that for me, Marriage is a forever commitment. In sickness and in health until death do us part means something to me. I told her that I knew I wanted to be with her for the rest of my life, but only if she could promise me that she knew the same thing. I stayed at a friend's place for a few days and thought it over. First, I talked to our priest. He reminded me what I signed up for and believed in. Marriage is a forever commitment, and that means being able to forgive and work past problems. He recommended that for now I find work closer to home so I can be with my wife and that we seek marriage counseling either through the church or with a therapist. I also talked to some of the older guys I work with, and it kind of gave me some perspective. A lot of them had gone through the same thing. Some of their marriages survived, and a lot of them didn't. But all of them agreed that spending long periods away from home at a time can be rough on any marriage, but especially tough for young marriages. I understand that feeling constantly lonely and being by yourself in an empty house is hard. We talked, and she assured me that she loved me. She promised me that the affair meant nothing to her, that she just felt alone, and that she would cut off all contact with the guy. She understood that she would have to work to earn my trust back, agreed to give me access to her Facebook and to check her phone randomly until I can trust her again. She also agreed to go to marriage counseling. On my end, I've agreed to find a local job so that I can be with her and focus on our marriage. We aren't having SX right now, and haven't since she came clean to me. I wanted to take it slow getting intimate again, and she has respected that. We've been kissing, cuddling, and sleeping in the same bed. More recently, she has been insisting on giving me hand jobs, which I'm okay with. She says she just wants to know that I still want her, and that she wants to please me. I do want her, and I appreciate her efforts. Still, no SX though. It's not her, it's me. I still find her attractive, but I think it's going to take at least a little while before I feel like having SX with her again. I guess I still feel grossed out by the prospect of it. Like she's unclean or something. She understands how I feel, and is okay with it. She offered to let me cheat on her to get even or get some physical release, but I declined. I don't want to screw somebody else. I want to be with my wife, and I just want things to go back to normal. Two weeks later, we find out she's pregnant. Obviously, the other guy is the father. I'm the only person she has told so far. Being religious, abortion, off the bat, was off the table for us. I told her that I want her to put the baby up for adoption. I'm willing to forgive her and repair our marriage, and I can look past an awful lot. What I know that I cannot do is go through every day looking at a reminder of her infidelity and having this other guy intertwined in our lives in some capacity. I can't do it. I know that probably makes me a poor Christian, 
but I've got to believe that God understands that I'm not perfect and forgives me. She wants to keep the baby. She says that the other guy never has to know about it and that she understands that our marriage cannot survive with him in our lives. But her opinion is that it isn't the baby's fault. The baby didn't ask to be born out of an adulterous relationship. And that we would be unnecessarily causing the baby to suffer by putting it up for adoption. She also says that the baby is part of her, and that she would like me to be able to love and accept the child as a part of her instead of the other man. I understand where she is coming from, and I get that it would have to be terrible to carry a baby and have it growing inside of you for 9 months knowing that you've got to give it away as soon as it's born. But I can't do it. I really don't know what else to say. She has agreed to go talk to our priest about it with me, but regardless of what he says, I can't see either of us budging on it. My marriage might be over, and all I feel like doing is drinking until I pass out. I barely think about it, but we haven't even talked to our families about the infidelity yet, let alone the pregnancy. The whole thing is embarrassing and I don't want the attention. I don't want people telling me that we're in their prayers but judging our marriage and guessing how each of us failed. I just want it all to go away. Thank you for reading this. If anyone else has gone through something like this and has had their marriage survive, I'd love to hear from you. I could use some optimism about now. It is asking a lot of you to raise the result of your wife's affair as your own. I understand why she feels the way she does. Few women want to part with their babies, but she's asking too much of you. Leave her. If she wants to keep the baby, let her keep it. The other guy can co-parent and pay for it and you'll be free to seek out a companion who is willing to be faithful to you and give you the family of your own that you deserve. Edit, and since she was clearly barebacking with her affair partner, make sure you have been thoroughly tested for STDs. You need to get a consultation with a family attorney right away. In some states, if you're married, you'll be presumed to be the baby's legal father and could be held liable for child support less talking to your priest and more talking to an attorney first off i am struck by how big your heart seems to be overcoming infidelity is a near insurmountable challenge that many people cannot or will not even attempt reddit is huge on infidelity as an absolute deal breaker but i think if both parties are willing to put in the work a lifetime of work to move past it then it is possible i commend you for trying you make me want to be a better person that said, it is clear that the baby is too much. Many people have already said it it's you or the baby. She has to choose. Even if she gives it up for adoption, the pregnancy will be a huge challenge. Keeping the baby is simply not an option if you stay together. She said it isn't fair to the baby, but a newborn up for adoption is a very different thing than an 8-year-old up for adoption. You could basically hand pick who the baby goes to to ensure it ends up in a good home. Wouldn't that be a better option than being born into a broken or nearly broken marriage? 